Dr. Freeman, we recently had a uh, guest convict. I should case. say that we're going to have to close this off. Let's make this the last question, if we may. I just realized on my watch that we were running over time. We recently had a guest convocation speaker in the name of Jane Fonda who uh, spoke to an overcapacity and, I might say, enthusiastic crowd regarding the um, fear of big, government, big business in influencing government decisions and running the world virtually. And uh, I would say that she influenced a lot of people here, and although her speech might have been alarmist, uh, there seemed to be quite a bit of credible credibility to it. Could you have some comment as far as uh, what you feel? Sure. There's a great deal of merit in the position she was taking. One of the reasons, uh, uh, you must distinguish sharply between being pro-free enterprise, which I am, and being pro-business, which I am not. Those are two different things. The reason I am pro-free enterprise, the reason I am for a free market on a political level, is primarily because I believe the problem in this world is to avoid a concentration of power, to have a dispersal of power, that unless we have a dispersal of power, we will not be able to maintain a free society. Now, Jane Fonda is right that if we have a system under which government is in a position to give large and does give large favors, it's human nature for people to try to get those favors. Whether those people are large enterprises, such as the oil industry, or the automobile industry, or the steel industry, or whether they are small people, like the farmers who are driving tractors around Washington, or whether they are uh, representatives of other special groups. And in my opinion, the only way you can prevent that and make sure that businesses operate in the public interest is to, f is to force them to engage in competition one with the other. So that she is right insofar as she says there is a great danger of having large, small, and in-between corporations exert undue influence on government. Where people like Jane Fonda go wrong is in not recognizing what the answer is. They think that the cure to big government is to have bigger government, except with them running it instead of the people who now run it. <laughs> but in my opinion, the only effective cure is to reduce the scope of government, to get government out of the business. If government is prohibited from engaging in activities which can benefit special groups, and those special groups will not have any incentive to go to Washington. For example, uh, to dream an ideal. Suppose we could have a constitutional amendment prohibiting Congress from making any laws imposing tariffs. Well, there would be a lot of, a lot of lobbyists in Washington who would lose their jobs overnight. That would reduce the incentive for corporations to try to affect government, and similarly down the line. So we must separate diagnosis and problem from cure. And I believe that that's the area in which she is likely to mislead the public. 